older now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but if you were in this situation, you had a is, child. Is the internet is the internet ever wrong, Mike? Right. Yeah, no, at this point, <laughs> at this point, it nails everything. Um, but if you had children uh, young enough to play it, it, baseball right now, I mean, would you, if they were enhanced safety protocols and and the fields were open, would you let them play? Yes. Yeah, I would. I you know, it, I really don't think we needed to isolate young healthy people in the first place to be honest and you know it's interesting we're, we're and, and i i, I want to be clear you know i'm talking to fellow parents you know obviously i love my kids you love your kids we, we want safety first and foremost and and so again let's all be really humble you know there's so much we don't know this pathogen is new pandemics are unpredictable but but it is very very clear this many months into the pandemic that it's not an equal opportunity threat that, you know, again, it's often a severe disease in, in old sick people. It's very rarely a severe disease in young healthy people. Yes, we've all heard the examples of a Kawasaki like disease in kids. Yes, bad things can happen. But, you know, obviously a, a bad thing can happen to your child just from playing baseball. It can get hit in the head with a baseball. Right? I mean, you know, zero risk is not possible. Being alive means being at risk of being hurt, being injured, getting sick or dying. Uh, there, there's no zero risk scenario. So, you know, we're talking about essentially striking a reasonable balance. And it's not clear to me that we ever needed to isolate kids and young people. So my kids are more, you know, young adults, college age, and I very much doubted the value of shutting down the universities and sending the kids home. But if my kids were in the age group now where they're playing youth baseball, I'd be all for it. And I would simply be having these kinds of conversations with their coach saying, okay, you know, no dugouts, you know, give them space. Let's do everything possible to minimize risk, but, it, but minimize risk in what is already a very low risk situation. And let's be sure we send information home to all the families so they know if your child has conditions on a list that the CDC makes available, then, you know, maybe they should sit this season out, that sort of thing, right? So some extra precautions, yes, but I would be all for letting my kids play baseball.